and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Sherry. If you're not so new here, welcome back. I have a collective haul. Some of the pieces I picked up at the weekend and then some pieces I've been picking up throughout the past week. I felt very spenny, okay? No judgments. I thought I would start with Pull and Bear. So I actually have this top in another colour, in this like nudey, beigey, off-white sort of, it's not even off-white. The first t-shirt I have worn, so I was just unravelling it, is this black t-shirt. It looks like absolutely nothing on camera, but I'll insert pictures for you. I actually have this in another colour that I wore with a cargo skirt and everyone went kind of crazy for but it is back in stock and I will link it down below. Also comes in a brown now which is perfect for autumn winter. You just can't go wrong with these tops. I feel like these are a dupe for like a high-end designer top. Don't ask me what but I, f I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. That's why I bought the other one and then when it came back in stock in the black I had to do it. it has like a little ruching bit here it's just so flattering again a good staple for your wardrobe that's what we like and i think when you find something that just fits you perfectly and just gives you like that added bit of serotonin when you put it on you buy it in all colors right not that i needed another pair of cargo pants slash parachute pants but I technically did okay so I bought myself a black pair these are also from Pull and Bear I got these in a small I could have really done with a medium because getting these up is difficult okay I really felt it when Doja says that she breaks a few fingernails pulling up her true religions. I broke a few fingernails trying to get these on, okay? So I would size up if you are, I wouldn't say go true to size, I'd say go up a size, but they do fit really nicely and not super baggy. So we love that they have drawstrings on the bottom and on the waist. Like I said, I got a small, but I could do with a medium and I'm like an eight to a 10, so. I hope that's helpful for anybody. I actually managed to get my hands on a Palace and Rafa collaboration cargo skirt. So I will be returning this one, but I did just want to see like what the fit's like and I can obviously then recommend it to people to have something similar. And it's just like a classic black cargo skirt. You guys know I love a cargo skirt. You can't go wrong. Again, a size small. I feel like this is perfect. The best part is it's not a full cylinder. So it's not super difficult to walk in. It has an actual slit in the back. It's kind of making me want to keep it because it does have a slit in the back, but let's be honest. I'm probably going to keep it. Don't tell Max on my accountant. So I saw this TikTok on Saturday morning and Max and I ended up going to this thing called The Box. It's in Hackney. I will leave the information down below. They sell like secondhand designer pieces. So we went along. I saw some Margiela's. I really, really want a pair of the tabbies, but I just can't bring myself to pay the full price because it's very expensive. For a pair of shoes, I know I won't wear a ridiculous amount, so I would rather buy them secondhand so that I save a bit of money that way. But there wasn't much there when I went on the Saturday. We probably should have been a bit quicker getting there and getting there for when it opened. But when we got there, the queue wasn't too bad. It was probably like 10, 15 minutes queue. Um, and they let us in with Olive, which was great. But I did pick up a few pieces of jewellery and then at the end I realised most of them were broken, like the actual earring pin bit was broken off. 
So I didn't purchase any of those, but I did get this very cute Jill Sander wallet. So the only thing is with this also, there are a lot of defects. So it's great if you're somebody that can maybe fix pieces or have a use for them because obviously you get them at a very discounted rate. So this was actually £35. And the only thing is, is it has a mark here. Someone put it down on the table and it caught my eye and she turned her back and, took, and she walked away. And I... My chicken claws were all over this purse. I actually lost my purse. I've never lost my purse ever in my life. And I don't think I've lost, lost my purse. I feel like it's lost somewhere in my house. Don't ask me where, because I don't have a clue. Anyway, it has like all legitimate things. What else is inside here? And yeah, it was 35 pounds. Kind of wild, but I felt like I just needed like a big girl purse. I've had a card holder for about four or five years and I do love them, but I feel like I just, I have so many cards. I have so m I have like my boots card, my super drug card, my credit cards, my debit cards, ev everything. I feel like I can just shove everything in one place and not have to have one for my cards and then one for like my points cards. It's silly, absolutely ridiculous. And for 35 pounds, you cannot go wrong. And you guys know that I love Jill Sander. So yeah, I will leave that down below. I don't know when it's next on, but keep an eye out for like updates. I feel like you can sign up on like an email basis and they get and you get to know when the next one is. I feel like I'm word vomiting all the time. After we finished at the box thing, we realised we hadn't ever really been around Hackney slash Hackney Central. So we went in the charity shops and I am so obsessed with the pieces that we picked up. I feel like we did really well. So we went into Sense, which is on Mare Street. Just looking at my receipt for you. And I found this bag. Well, I saw this as we were walking out. Max found a t-shirt, which I'll show you in a second. And I was like, I see you. I see you in my peripherals. Literally the corner of my eye, I was like, uh, okay, got it down. It's this bootleg cherry print Louboutin bag. It's definitely bootleg, which, but I'm kind of obsessed with it. I don't know what drew me to it. I do, I just feel like it was, it just looks so cool, okay? I didn't even realise. I just saw that the tag said £5.50. I was like, done, sold. I'm taking you home with me. You can't be sat on this shelf. Mm -mm. It had a mini one inside of it. It has a mini one inside of it. If I went on nights out, best believe, I won't be able to fit my phone in it, but I can fit like my Charlotte Tilbury lip liner and lipstick. I just can't. Five pound fifty. It was five pound fifty. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. Even Max is like, even if you don't use it, it's just like a nice little piece for your shelf in your office. Because I don't really wear red, but I just think this is so cool. I love her. I did search and it's not, it's not real. <laughs> it's not real. The cherries have like a different design on the like tip and the faces. So yeah, and I don't think they actually made it in this style. I feel like this is called like the Papillon. I could be incredibly wrong, but I feel like that's the design of this bag, the makeup, the name makeup this bag. 
Again with the word vomit, I can't stop. When I get so excited about things, I literally have word vomit. But look how cute this is. She's mine now. From the same shop, Max picked up this Dolce & Gabbana blue long sleeve top. And this is quite small. It's not like, it's a large, but it fits more like a medium. Um, and that was four pounds. So a nice little basic top. We did um and ah over this because obviously Dolce & Gabbana don't have um, any morals. <laughs> unfortunately um but as a layering piece for winter i have nothing else to say we then went to crisis which is like down from scents and across the road it's a really good one um i did see on their sign that they are looking for donations so if you are in the hackney area please go donate some things i would but i live the opposite side um and obviously they are a homeless shelter charity so so i picked up this double rl ralph lauren like waffle style top long sleeve for max i thought this would be I had my like Scandi head on for him so I thought he could wear a white t-shirt that kind of like the neck comes out. This over the top, baggy jeans and his Birkin Boston Birkenstocks. Fantastic. No, it's not really like winter appropriate but I thought the layers. This was cute and this was £15 which I think is rather decent for double RL. It is quite expensive brand to buy anyway. So thought that was a bargain. I then picked up two books. So I got Verity. It is Verity, isn't it? Yes, Verity by Colleen Hoover. I just bought the other two, like it ends with us and another one i can't remember but i bought them off vintage i buy a lot of my books off vintage or in charity shops it does take a little longer to find them but if you look you never know what you might find this was two pounds and then i bought little fires everywhere max's mum actually loved the program and i told her on the phone that i had managed to find the book so I don't know if I'm going to manage to read this first or if she's going to end up reading it before me but it was buy one get one free on books which is amazing. So I got these two. Also from Crisis I picked up this plain black long sleeve. It has like a scoop neck and I thought it would be quite nice to have it more off the shoulders. I have no idea what this brand is. Teen Flow, Teen Flow? I guess it's just Teen Flow, it's just repeated quite a few times. But yeah, it was six pounds and I thought that was rather nice for a basic t-shirt. Gave me very like Uniqlo vibes. I know they had a um, top that was quite trendy, trendy, that was like viral on TikTok that looked very similar. And I just don't really have anything like this, just basic wise. I feel like, no, I thought the sleeves were gonna be like three quarter length but they're not but yeah a good little basic t-shirt and i probably would have paid that anyway in h&m or asos or whatever so i thought it was nice to pick up from a charity shop the pièce de résistance i picked up a mason margella so it's their mm6 brand little top with a zip all the way through I feel like this is just so cool. This was £9.50. I'm not sure how I'm gonna design this. I feel like this is quite a bit more edgy for my vibe, but I feel like when I'm feeling a little bit more edgy, it might be really cute, but it does zip up the whole way. So I feel like it might look a bit more my vibe, like zipped up all the way. I don't know. 
I just think it was cool. And for £9.50, Pro Mason Margiela t-shirt. T-shirt, top, situation. I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like leather pants, a night out. Bootleg Louis. A vibe. I basically begged Max in the middle of the street to let me go into Primark. Because he never likes to go in. So I just begged him if I could go, go in and I'd be five minutes. When I say I have to be five minutes, I literally have to be five minutes. I have to be in and I have to be like scanning the entire room and basically like jump in the queue and like, you know, he doesn't like it at all. Anyway, I need new socks because he's now decided that he only likes to wear the socks that I wear. Um, and it's kind of rude and inconsiderate because I should have sent him in to get socks so he can pay for them because he stretched my socks out. I sound like that girl that's like, my iPad's not charging my iPad. You know? Anyway, these are the socks in question. Riveting content, I know. I bet you're all buzzing to hear what kind of socks I wear. So these are just the five pairs of crew socks. They're £2.50 now. £2.50. I feel like I was mad when socks became 170 and they became 190 250 When I have to buy them more because Max stretches them out. Inflation. My favourite type of socks. I used to be a trainer sock gal period you would not catch me wearing any other socks white trainer socks that was it i'm not converted to these i go in between these and trainer socks but these i prefer why am i going on about trainer socks so much nobody needs to know i bought socks i spotted these as i was in the queue these are three microfiber cleansing cloths if you can find anything microfiber, grab them. Because microfiber is great for your hair, for your skin. Anyway, that was £2.50. You did get three, but I've already started using these, as you can tell. I also picked up some bubbles. Again, I've already started using these. Hence why they're not in the packaging anymore. This is my problem, I do this and then I lose 50% of them, then I break another 25% of them and then I have to live a few weeks of my life with like 10 bubbles. And then I have to beg Max to go into <laughs> When I say I beg Max, he just hates waiting outside, but he hates also going into the shop. So there's no resolution here. I then picked up this rather cute little bra and knicker set. It was six pounds, which I thought was decent, but I don't really wear like underwired bras, but I feel like this was really cute. And also I wanted to get some underwear sets for when I film outfits. Cause I mean, I can't stand <laughs> Can't stand there with my neddies out, can I really? So I picked this one up, I think it's really cute. Um, this is purely for an outfit looking cuter, not to actually wear for any other reason, e.g. support. But they have really cute ones. They just didn't have very many varieties in, but they did have the whole like skims dupe ones that are now six pounds I swear or five pounds literally about a month ago but yeah cute little bra and knicker set I then also spotted this out of the corner of my eye I know I know exactly what you're thinking sherry that contains color are you feeling okay yes yes I am I felt like this was very much a acne studios dupe for a scarf so I picked this up it was eight pounds made of recycled polyester it's still polyester though isn't it so 
anyway i just think this is really cute for more like neutral outfits in autumn winter just to add a bit of something we can all add a little spice to our outfits um i also have contemplated getting the acne studio scarf but i have a little puppy and she has a fascination with anything of this texture she's obsessed with it i have like a fluffy hat that i got from zara last year that i literally managed to wear once because she'd want to be picked up all the time only to pick the hat off my head she's just obsessed with this and to be quite honest i ended up having to remove half my scarf half the time as like a blanket for her to sit on and to be like wrapped in so this was my justification for this one but i think it's really cute they also do like other colors they do do a like beige colorway of this as well but i liked the little pops of orange and yellow and blue and green but yeah that's that and lastly i ordered some bits from monkey i bought three of the same t-shirts i really like this style of t-shirt on me it's been a new realization but it's like a really short arm and then a really like tight slinky sort of fabric i do have the crop versions of these from weekday so they're not really the crop versions of these but i have a crop version of this style of top but obviously i can't have my stomach out the whole of winter so i bought these from monkey and i feel like they're giving skims dupes very much giving that vibe so i bought black i got this in a small i then bought this like creamy beigey color in a medium because they didn't have a small i will be scouring the internet for a small and then white in a small also max is at work and he calls me all the time i feel like if you wanted more of like the really tight feeling just size down because i could have easily fit into a extra small in all of these but they would have been like super tight maybe i'll get an extra small in maybe the white i feel like the extra small was sold out but i managed to get anyway i like these I like these a lot i feel like they were nine nine pounds each when i try them on and you'll see here you will understand the excessive need okay these are very much not appropriate for this time of year but I had them in my basket for so long and I kind of wanted them like in summertime when I probably should have bought them but I couldn't justify buying them and then they were just sat there in my basket when I went to check out so I just checked out with them in. So I bought these pinstripe like pyjama pant style trousers i love these i feel like these are living my copenhagen dream wardrobe life with a big oversized t-shirt maybe my gray mohair jumper trainers tell me that's not autumn winter appropriate tell me i think they're really cute they are quite lengthy which is kind of crazy because i am only 5'5 five five. i say only 5'5 five five, i feel like 5'5 five five is quite like average anyway they have like a large cuff already so i'm not sure how i would roll up the situation or sort that out if i needed to but if they are too long i will send them back because i need to stop doing that and saying i'll go get them tailored because let's be honest i'm not going to do that Tones aren't correct. I am on my double denim 
hype right now. I'm obsessed with it. I need double denim in all shades of denim. Please and thank you. So I did pick up a black denim jacket and some black jeans from Monkey, but I don't think you're gonna be able to tell on camera, but the shades aren't matching. The shades are, mm -hmm. can you see there? They're not. They're not matching. Even though they they were styled together on the website. Y'all are liars, okay? I'm returning. I do feel like this would be the same shade as my vintage, like, black grey Levi's. But I hate the copper buttons. Hate with a passion. Can we just do silver buttons, please? So unfortunately they will be returned. I don't understand. Why are you taking off? It's got a silver button, but copper. No, 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 no. How sad. How disappointing. But yeah, I feel like these are a really nice pair of black jeans. That would drive me up the wall so that I can't... Even if they fit me like an actual glove, I'd, I'd lose my shit every single time I'd look at these. So unfortunately, these have to go back. They have to. I even... Who's done that? But yeah, I will be continuing my search for... I feel like this is just a really nice shape denim jacket, but why the copper buttons? Why? why? No shade to anybody that does like copper buttons. I personally just don't. But if you do like this jacket, this is a really nice shape jacket. I'm really upset about this situation. Can you tell? Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one and I will link everything down below and I will also leave down below the names of the charity shops we went to and the boxing. See you later.